new weekend for cycling. Keep it pretty busy now, now. Bending bucket. Bit of a chilly one. Someone fell in the wrong box. Soured. It feels well. Are you going to well, beginning the game and we sort of how we ended the last one. 50 years, except it's on Windows. Your nice start of the game and week. 4,000 or two on this game. Nice work, unlocked all achievements in this game. This one's a bit different because we only get the fourth skills for each level, whereas on the other one the other day we did five. Well, ahead of the Xtillion new games which are coming this week, we Locking up the updates, you can see Reactor X on Windows. And there you go, about 5 10 minutes play across some of the levels. And the new 5 unlocks done, so that's 4000 on this one, and that's another one in the completions. Another day, another Exotillion update. This time it's Butterfly on the box. There you go, nice work, you unlocked all the achievements in this game, and it was through levels 21 to 25, as you can see. Oh, we're back on Tokyo 2020 because when we started last week, we didn't try every other event, so we're going to try and do the rest that we didn't do last week. Well, Thursday night, we're back here at DW again. This time for the visit of Giants. 475 overall, 432 for Wigan. 27th against Huddersfield, 17 wins, 7 losses, and 2 draws. Looking for a well, technically a five game winning streak because obviously we had the one last season. It is a 4 1 though. Five game winning streak for Hoods. We're looking for a 4 1 overall. Fourth attendance in 2022. In terms of milestones, we're running a bit short at the moment. We're in the like sort of threes and fours rather than the zeros and fives. But we can run the field round three. So, half time so far so good. We can 16, Hoods field 6. So there you go, I've played three, one, three, well, officially, four overall. Could get used to this winning, winning every week. Four time Wigan, 22. Wigan, 22, others field 12, so nice gap. As with last week, it might not be the last action of the week, but that's the weather's decision. Possibly, there might be another trip down Warrington Way this month. See the women, not in Warrington, but somewhere in Caddish Shed, maybe. But we'll see what happens between now and Sunday. Other than that, that's the men's action done for three weeks. So you won't see the Wigan first team until the 17th of March back here. Women will definitely be coming for that. That's what the academy in the reserves. But yeah, we're not after France, the team are. All good for the first day. Game in terms is Exilian, but it's a new one on Brainstorm Tower Bombard. Well, a nice decent little game, one that you don't really need to walk through for, you just play it, shoot yourself from room to room. As you can see, nice work, you've unlocked all the achievements on this game, it is only a short 11 one, so I'm sure it'll have updates in the future, but yeah, we have got the Windows one as well, and compared to most extra Italian games, it actually means that you'll be playing it for at least a good 10-15 minutes, more than the old 10-15 minutes you would do on the others. Traditional Friday update, no record, so... <coughs> Be a quick one, up to 695,000 overall, 96 weeks. Month itself, 35,800, so it's going to struggle to beat January because obviously there's less days in February. 75k for the year. In terms of the overalls, 131 is gradually getting to the end. Over the week, 9,420, which is 15 below last week, uh, mainly because no records. Well, yesterday we saw Brainstorm Tower Bombay there on the box. So now it's time to do the Windows version as well. Well, there you go, Brainstorm Tower Bombay they done. Next week, unlocked all achievements for this game. Continuing next to Tilly and Recompletion Punch. We are on Butterfly on Windows. If we try and get this one done, we will get you all completed again eventually if they don't add another update on something. There you go, another update done. It takes that up to 4000. Butterfly for Windows 10. All achievements unlocked. Got a bit of a trip into the unknown today with what is quite well, officially an out and about adventure. 
We're off to Caddyshed, hope I said that right, Rhinos for Southwood Women against Wigan Women. So it's the first time I've been there. First time I've seen Southwood Women play, and the first time I've seen Wigan Women play since September, I think, of last year. Hopefully, travel goes all to plan. Well, that's like one of the journey done. Like two will be on the train at 11.29 to Warrington and then there's the walk across Warrington to go to the interchange to then get a bus to Caddyshed. So what that's like two of the travel done. You can see Warrington Bank here, which, well, after Wigan, it's becoming a third home for me travel-wise this year. The second trip would have been three if we'd have had Vicky Park last week. But off to Caddyshed. Well, that's like three done. We got off in Caddyshed. Just got off the 100 bus from Warrington to here. So now we're making the short walk to Candice Head by. I know it's a new venue against a new team. Well, a short walk, and when he as you can see, Candice Head by knows ARLFC for what should be Salford Women against Wigan Women. There seem to be a lot of people here, so hopefully there is a game on. So we arrived at Candice Head by knows, new venue, new team. Which, considering it's 476 overall, it would have been good if it was 475 last week. Oh well. So it is Salford Women away, brand new team. 433 for Wigan is the first against them, the 68th team we've seen at Wigan side play. First one since. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's been how long since we played the new team, I forgot. 127th away trip, first ever women's pre season game because usually they are quite far away. We are looking for five consecutive wins this season, which is a Wigan fan, is something I haven't said for a while. Looking for three on the road after, obviously, Warrington and KR, and it's the fifth spot in attendance in 2022. So, we'll start with a new season of women's coverage. We're at Callis Ed Vinos for Salford at Devils Women against the Wigan Warriors. So, first attack, Wigan, she's through. Only the referee can keep up with it at the moment. Straight through, and there's the opener. <laughs> Salford women nil, Wigan four. Well, there you go, half time. So, sort of scoring quickly, Wigan were levelled up and then went behind. So, half time, not good as a Wigan van. Salford women 12, Wigan 6. And there we go, there's the final whistle. Good way to end the physical sport weekend. With a win, Salford Red Devils women 12, Wigan women 18. So there's another red team that we do want to win this afternoon, except that's on TV. But the last rugby game we'll cover as a 34 year old is a win. So rugby done, it's now time for the bus back into Warrington. Well, bus from Cadiz Head back to Warrington. You can see, I'm back at Warrington Monkey, train to Wigan, and then the bus home, and it'll be day complete. So oh, that's a train travel done for the day. You can see we're in Wigan North Western. So now for the bus home, and then we're done. Well, after victory for a team in red earlier today in Wigan, as you can see there, victory for a team in red again. That's a good way to finish the sporting week. Nicely done. Well, to end the week, we're doing a bit more Exotilian. First, Castle on Escape 2 on the box. And there we go, nice work, all teams unlocked on this game, so that's that one ticked off. So, completing the week game of last, and this is the complete one, we have to X to get x that bit closer to getting me completed completely. And there we go, we have to X is done now, so we unlocked all teams in that game as well. So I think that's x done, up to date with 38, and the new load come out on Tuesday.